Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I thought I would film part two of Tina Tries on wedding dresses. Da -da 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 -da. So in my previous video, I tried on wish wedding dresses. Now in today's video, I'm going to try dresses that I bought from Yes Style. I have a feeling these ones are going to be better than the ones I bought from Wish because they're not as cheap and we all know that that was a big disaster and a waste of money. And so I have high hopes for the Yes Style dresses. Unlike my previous Wish order where each dress came in one by one, the Yes Style one all came in at once in this big box. All up, I bought six dresses and a veil because I was missing a veil for the last video because you know, it just adds to the wedding vibes. Now the price range of these dresses vary. I bought different tiers of it. So the cheapest one is around like $60 and it actually goes up to about 300 and something dollars. And so I just thought, you know what? I feel like maybe the higher you go with the dresses, typically the quality should get better, right? So I'm gonna open these up quickly, show you what they look like, hang them up, and then we can start trying some on. So this dress is the Senyo Halter Neck Beads Chul Evening White. This dress costs $64. Let me unravel it. It actually feels so much better than the Wish ones. I can already feel like the quality is very, very different. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like. It's got a halter neck design. It's got some lace and some um, little pearl beads sewn onto it. The quality is way, way better than any of the uh, Wish dresses that I bought previously. There's um, a couple of different layers. I think there's like one, two, there's five layers in this dress. I am impressed. It is a little bit dirty though. I feel like there's these little like dark fluffy flakes in them. Not sure about what happened there. The inside feels pretty structured. There's that boning, plus there is um, padding around the, uh, the boob area, so that's good. Next up, we have the Jinfuna Embroidered Long Sleeve A-Line Grey Dress in Medium. This was, I think, $81. So I got a grey colour because I thought it'd be nice for like a change of dress. Do you know how like some brides have a couple of changes throughout the night? So this would be like a nice evening dress to change into. The lace on this dress is in the shape of stars, which I thought was pretty unique. So, you know, if you want to do something different at your wedding, I think this could be an option. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad until I try it on. I think it looks pretty true to the model on the website. For this dress, there's three layers, so it's not actually as layered as the previous dress. And at the back, it's also a zip up design and it has the little bra cups inside as well. The sleeves are see-through, they're a bit puffy, kind of like a, a bell sleeve, I guess. This will be like an interesting dress to try on. I don't know how it's gonna look on me. This dress is the Angel Bridal Off Shoulder Lace A-Line Evening White Dress in Medium. Ooh. Oh. So this is the cheapest uh, dress that I bought out of all six dresses. This one was $61. These are the sleeves. They're kind of like, I don't know, what do you call it? Like a bat wing sleeve. And I think it's off the shoulder. So it is gonna be different to, to those ones. And the back of this one, it's one of those like tie up uh, crisscrossy ones that you can um, adjust. So this one takes longer to put on, but maybe that way you can kind of cinch in your waist if you want. This next dress pricked me. There was a needle still left in the dress and I didn't know and I totally stabbed myself. Now I am bleeding. That is very, very dangerous. Obviously they forgot to remove this when sewing the dress. This is the Angel Bridal Sleeveless Train A-Line Wedding Gown. This dress is more than double the price of the previous dress at $152. To be honest, I can't really see the difference in the quality of this dress, but maybe, maybe the fit is better. The front of the dress has this nice pleating and it's got like more of like a V neckline. It's sleeveless. There's these little flower um, detailing on it and I think it all the way to the bottom as well. This one does have a pretty long train on it. So maybe that is why it's more expensive. They used more material. 
I really like this one on the model. I felt like it wasn't like too sexy, but it still looked quite elegant. Though looking at it in person, I don't think I would ever pick this off the, the rack. Alrighty, we are going to the expensive dresses now. And it is getting bigger. Oh, this one's heavy. This is the MSS Bridal Sleeveless A-Line Wedding Gown Long Chain in Medium. This baby costs $270. This is definitely one of the heavier dresses. Oh, whoa, this is like a mattress. It's inside out. Oh my God, it's so heavy. There are so many layers. Oh my gosh. I think you need to hold it for me, boo. I'm not tall enough. Dude, this is a legit wedding dress. It weighs like, I don't know, I feel like it weighs seven kilos or something. It's so heavy and it's so long. Oh my, I can't lift it up, I'm so weak. I'm trying to lift it up to show you. This is what it looks like. It's kind of got like a deep V, but it's got lace there and then it's got more lace to cover the front, which is what I really liked about this dress. Also, it's got multiple, multiple layers. I also really like that this dress wasn't completely white. It had this beige sort of a layer on the inside. Also, there's really nice beading on this dress and there's sequin materials on the inside layers, but it doesn't look cheap. Oh my God, it's so heavy to turn. I, my, my arm is actually shaking from holding this. And the train on this is super long. Look how long it is. There's definitely a lot of layers to this dress. It's definitely one of the more extravagant ones that I bought from YesStyle. I'm excited to try this one on. We are down to the last dress. This one is the MSS Bridal Spaghetti Strap Ball Gown Wedding Long Train Champagne dress in medium. This one costs $364. That does sound pretty expensive, but yeah, compared to what a lot of people spend on their wedding dresses, this is still pretty cheap. Ooh, that looked like it had something in it too. It also comes with a veil and gloves. I totally didn't need to buy an extra one then. This one is also inside out. I don't know why they ship it inside out. Maybe it is to keep it clean or I don't know. Oh, this one is a little bit heavy. So this dress actually comes in like two pieces. There's this lace top that you wear underneath. The neckline of this is quite low, but there is lace here and you've got this additional top to wear under it. The beading on this is quite nice. It's quite intricate, but I didn't I didn't think it'd be like this shiny. What I do like about the dress is the color. It's like a mixture of like champagne, beige, it's got some white in it, and it's got this lace detail, which is pretty different. It's got a nice pattern on it. It is quite long as well. Though I'm not too sure about these lacy stripes that run down the front and actually all around it. Not sure if I'm a fan of that, but let's not judge it until I try it on. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this video. The dresses, some of them look pretty promising. I feel like if I really like them, I can just wear it for like a pre-wedding shoot or who knows, maybe I will actually wear it on my wedding day. Okay, so let's get trying. I am going to try this one on first, the halter neck one. This is the cheapest one I bought out of the six dresses. So let's see how it looks. It actually feels like a wedding dress. The length is pretty good on me. It covers my shoes. The fit is actually pretty good. Um, the only thing is the, the cupping of this. I feel like this is just like there's nothing under here, guys. But it's quite like structured. So if you want to look a little bit bustier, this is actually good to have. I never thought I would actually try on a halter neck sort of a style dress only because I think maybe it'd be outdated but this one's not too bad. I do feel like this lace thing is a little bit weird though. Overall, it's not too bad. I, I wouldn't mind wearing this for a shoot to be honest, like a pre-wedding shoot. 
I actually thought it was alright. It fitted really nicely and it looked kind of elegant. I'll right. marry Tainer in that. <laughs> I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Potonex is not really my style. I just feel like there's too much pearl stuff like going everywhere. It's too much. I chose this dress because it was a little bit different, you know, if you didn't want to be the typical bride with a white dress. I don't know if you guys can see this region here. Uh, what's with the padding? I feel like if they lost the padding and maybe maybe just used a nude colour or something, I just feel like it's so distracting and the position of the, the bra padding is just odd. Not too sure about these little dangly lacy bits. I feel like an octopus. Though, what I do like about this dress is the train. I actually don't mind the sleeve. I feel like it kind of looks a bit, you know, Disney for some reason. It looks a little bit magical. Personally, I don't think I would wear this to my own wedding or a shoot for that fact. Unless maybe I removed like the lace and like the bra padding, then it could work. Oh man, where do I begin with this one? The boobs are weird. I'm not a fan of the colour. I just really hate it. I don't really like the colour. It look, kind of reminds me of Princess from Mars or something. Or it kind of looks like a 17th century outfit. I actually like this one. I like the colour. It's like not black, but it's not white. In between black and white, so I like oh. it. Also, I like that star thing, like that pattern. It's really unique. I've never seen that before, so I like it. Mm. Pretty nice wedding dress. Um, I didn't think I would like the sleeves much, but you no, know, I actually do like the off-the-shoulder sort of cut. And what I was concerned with was like the sequins. But I guess like in photos, maybe it just adds to the glitz and glam of the wedding dress. It is a little bit itchy as well. But I do feel like once I put the the veil on, it just adds to the look, and I actually feel like a bride. I don't hate it, I don't love it, I would have preferred if it didn't have the sleeves. I don't mind the off shoulder style. Kind of the sleeves look a little bit too much for me, but I mean, if someone wore that, I would say yeah, that looks okay. Pick this up from the floor. So you can tell how good the dress is. I must say I am really disappointed with this dress. I thought spending $152 would make this a better dress, but I think it's the fit of this. It feels a little bit bigger than all the other dresses, even though I also got a medium. I feel like maybe if it was cinched in at the waist and if these shoulder bits were a little bit thinner, like that, I would like it more. Also, I'm not too sure what's going on with the with the boot paddings. I just feel like that's all I can see when I look at myself in the mirror, like just two big cups right here. But um, I do like the length of this dress. It's also quite nice and flowy, it's light. I don't like the boobs. I feel like it gave too much unwanted attention to Tina's boobs. Don't look at Tina's boobs. <laughs> the boobs. I couldn't stop looking at Tina's boobs. I actually really like this dress on the model, but now having it on myself, there is a lot going on. Like we've got this like little organza uh, lace thingy happening, and I think it needs to be like steamed or something. And then under it, we've got the sequins, some lace. This definitely needs to be steamed because it does not want to stay down. And this dress is super heavy compared to the others. I feel like it's just pulling my shoulders down. It's definitely more glitz and glam and maybe a bit over the top for what I want for my wedding dress. Also on the side, ooh la la, you can see a little bit of skin there. I think it does look really nice for photos. It's very extravagant. The train is really long. Look at that. And I do like, I mean, it does make my waist look smaller because the, the, the skirt of it is just so big. So I do like that, but um, it's probably not uh, what I would wear to my wedding because I think I'm more of a, a simple kind of gal, you know what I mean? I think Tina looks like a layered cake. There's too much going on and there was too much covering her boobs. 
I have to give this one credit because it actually looks exactly like the photo. I feel like this dress would look really nice if it's photographed, like a photo shoot dress. Not a huge fan, but I don't really hate it. I think out of all the dresses, I would have to say I like this one the most. It's not perfect, uh, but it's pretty flattering for my body shape. If I could change some things, I would like remove all the gold spots and metallic part. I didn't see that in the photo with the model on it, and so I was a bit surprised when I saw it. At first when I put this on alone, I did feel a little bit like a clown, but I guess it does work. Once you have the dress on, it's actually quite nice. I like the shape of it, I like the style. I think I wanna try it on without the, um, the inside top though i just want to see what it looks like because maybe that will just make things look a little bit more simple okay i think i like it much much better without the sheer lace top underneath this is probably something that i would consider wearing to my own wedding day i would wear this for a pre-wedding shoot i think it is quite flattering uh, at first i was worried that you know maybe it's like too much boob but thankfully with this one it doesn't have any of those weird awkward bra padding so I feel like my chest department looks okay in this. Honestly I did have high hopes for this dress because it was the most expensive one and yeah I do like it. I feel like a princess. I didn't like it when Tina had the sheer layer underneath it but uh, without that I thought it really it looked really nice. I married Tina in that. I like the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but then it just makes me sound like I'm yeah. a boob guy. I'm not actually that creepy. I'm an ass guy but her boobs just... look good in that dress. I really like this dress on Tina. It fits the best. It's the most flattering on her. The cut here looks really nice. It makes Tina's boobs look really nice. Cool, cool. I think the inside that sheer thingy, it actually doesn't look too bad. But I feel like as a wedding dress, without it, it looks much better. Overall, I do feel like the Yes Style dresses that I bought are way, way better than the previous dresses that I bought from Wish. The quality is much better and they all look like bridal dresses. Most of them are represented pretty well on the website. Maybe there's a few details here and there that are a little bit different. Also, the, uh, the sizes were actually really good compared to the previous video. Um, I got a medium and I just went off the chart on the website. Before this video, I did have doubts about buying a dress online. But I think like this one is a winner. I would wear something like this. I am pretty surprised at the quality. The price isn't too expensive compared to what you would pay in the actual shops. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Let me know below which dress you like the best. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also follow me on Instagram and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!